G'day YouTube, Max Wright, and we have probably the best setup for a trade that I've seen for a while. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna go a huge long um, Bitcoin position here, probably a million dollars. Let me explain what my thinking is. Let's get into this. So for the past, uh, right now we're on the hourly and the Bitcoin chart. For the past few days, we've been um, oscillating in here between this line here is the 21 week moving average. If you wanna get that to appear on your, um, on your hourly chart, you just create a moving average of 3,528 periods, okay? So we've, been, we've interacted with this line once, twice, three, four, and coming back down now for five times. Now here's the philosophy behind this trade. The 21 week moving average is the worst kept secret in all of crypto. Everybody understands it. Everybody knows it. It's a very, very big deal. So I'm, <clears throat> if, if we bounce off the 21 week moving average, then the bull market is preserved. Uh, and I think probably within a few months we'll go, remember we've just had massive, massive altcoin action. So for the last two months, three months, Bitcoin's been boring, Bitcoin's been sideways. We've had a massive altcoin appreciation and Bitcoin's been snoozy. Usually what happens is Bitcoin goes on a massive run to catch up. And to, that, that's, that, that's the nature. I'll show you on the Bitcoin dominance chart. The Bitcoins and altcoins just throughout the season, just like they have their the altcoin season has its time. We're well into altcoin season. Arguably it's finished. We're going to get to that in a second. Um, but... Uh, but they, they, they take turns. They just take turns. In the same way, within the altcoins, they take turns. Ethereum has a run. Then, uh, then um, Cardano has a run, etc. So these things take turns. It's definitely, we're coming up to a time where it's reasonable to say it is Bitcoin's turn. So we find ourselves right here on the 21-week moving average. And there's a good argument to say that we could go north. Now, there's some arguments to say that we don't. Uh, these vertical blue lines I've taught you before, they represent the last... Friday of the month when futures and, and uh, um, certain other things expire, futures and options expire. And typically, I'll kick back to the daily, kick, typically they represent the bottom of a 30 day cycle. Let's get in here. Okay, here's the last Friday of the month. Within a few days of that, it was a bottom. Uh, the, the, the bottom was on exactly the last Friday of the month. Here, the last Friday of the month, it was within a couple days. Likewise, in the middle of the month usually represents the peak of the 30-day cycle. Now, this, we find ourselves May 16th here, we're pretty close, we're, we're the, this doesn't happen, it's the last Friday of the month, it's not the end of the month, so, you know, we are a little bit, we're like two-thirds of the way through this thing, so really this should be pretty close to the peak of the cycle. So I'm not ecstatic about that. The, typically the bottom is at this blue line, which means we might have several more days to go down. So listen, all in all, I put it at about a 60-40 that Bitcoin bounces off the 21 week moving average and goes up. But that's not why it's the, this trade is exciting. 60-40, okay, great, whatever. Um, and, and, you, know, that's just, you can even argue 50-50, you could argue 70-30. That's not what's exciting about this trade. Here's what's exciting about this trade. The 21 week moving average is the worst kept secret in all of crypto. Everyone knows it, everyone's gonna be trading it, and we have been fighting right here with, it, with this 21 week moving average. Now, what is the risk reward on this trade? Because I'm getting in at, at uh, where are we? 47.9, let's say. We're at 47.9. The 21 week moving average is at 47.1. If this breaks down, then I can set my stop loss at here at what? Let's, Let's call it 45, let's call it 44, let's call it somewhere in here, right? Okay, we can set our stop loss, because if it breaks down through here and we break past the 21 week moving average, we can just get out of this trade and we lost between 47.9 and 45. Okay, but what's the upside? Oh, that's not the one I want. What is the upside? Well, we can put our trade here, we put our stop loss here, but what is the upside of this trade? If we bounce off the 21 week moving average, and the uh, bull market is preserved and we head on back up, then I think the most likely scenario is we're going to about $100,000 within a month or two. That is what I anticipate. So, <clears throat> because if the 21 week moving average is restored and we start climbing up a little bit, we just set a, little, a few higher highs, we get back into the 50s, I think what you'll find is that people's faith in Bitcoin will start to be restored they'll start to say, huh, oh, maybe Bitcoin's about to have a move. That's right, we've all had all the altcoin move, now maybe Bitcoin's about to have a move. And I think it's completely fair 
to put our price target at around $100,000. But really, what I've been looking for for months is a way to do this highly leveraged trade and hold it for months. Ultimately, this trade could go to $200,000, $300,000, $400,000 dollars by December. And I get in at a point where I can set my stop loss just a few thousand dollars less. I mean, just here, if I just set the, the take profits at uh, 96,000, then what is the risk reward here is 17 to one. But you know, again, like why not? Why not set this? This can go all the way to 200, like it can. What's the risk reward there? 52, like that, this is the reason why the trade is so obscene right now. Um, I'm gonna put that back down there at 100. I think that's the first uh, stop. Let me click the auto. And so that is why this is such a good trade. You know, let's just say it's 50-50, it's a coin toss. Maybe Bitcoin goes up, maybe Bitcoin goes down below the 21 week moving average. The consequences of that happening tell the story. If it goes below, no worries. I can get out of this trade. It'll be a short lived pain. If it goes up, then we are in serious, serious business for capturing a massive Bitcoin up leg. Speaking of the massive Bitcoin up leg, let's take a look at Bitcoin dominance. Uh, let's click back to the daily and Bitcoin dominance just did something. Well, actually, to be fair, it hasn't closed. That's true. It hasn't closed yet. Um, but Bitcoin dominance is painted a green candle yesterday. It's showing green at the moment. Um, but Bitcoin dominance has not put in two consecutive green candles since all the way back March 23rd. We're almost two months away. Remember right here, you see this green trend line? I called it when it broke that trend line. I said Bitcoin, uh, altcoins are just going to continue a massive altcoin season. And we just made a beeline straight down for 40. So I thought we might st stop a little bit, hesitate around the 50s. It just blew past it, went all the way down to 40. And so we got to enjoy a huge altcoin season. But look, the tail of the Bitcoin dominance chart is one of back and forth. I don't think it's ever going to go to 100. I don't think it's ever going to go to zero. It goes back and forth. And so even when it's in a channel, it goes back and forth, back and forth. Even in the longer history, so it goes, there's back and forths to this constantly, right? And we have just had, this is just an epic, I'll just put it here so you know what I'm talking about. Oh, I hope I'm not in the way. I am away in the way a little bit. This, this yellow line here, we've just been on an epic, epic, epic altcoin season. We're in the space of, where are we? That uh, was New Year's Day, January 1st, apparently. From New Year's Day all the way through today, a five month altcoin season where Bitcoin dominance fell from 72 down to 40. And there's plenty of reasons. We have historically, we've only got two points of resistance here. There's a resistance at 40 and resistance at 35. There's a really good reason to argue that Bitcoin dominance is gonna bounce off of here. And here's what happens when that happens. It's only a maybe. Maybe it keeps on crashing through and goes down to 35. Now, that doesn't mean we'll get stopped out of our trade on the Bitcoin trade. Maybe Bitcoin holds its price and all coins keep going ballistic. Doesn't mean we get shopped out. But here's what happens if it does bounce off there. If it bounces off here and Bitcoin dominance gets back to 44, I'm not going to say it's going to be a straight line. But here is what will happen. All of the people who have made huge profits in altcoin um, season over the last uh, nearly five months, they're going to understand what is happening. They are going to rotate back into Bitcoin. They're going to start taking profits from their DeFi trades, from their NFT trades, and they're going to start rotating back into Bitcoin. And you're going to get a huge buy pressure from the, um, from the altcoin space. In addition, I think you are also going to see the continuation of retail coming in. It starts a, a virtuous cycle for Bitcoin. Bitcoin starts getting in the news. We start getting a new all-time high. Institutions keep coming in. And all of a sudden, all the momentum is with Bitcoin and not with um, the altcoins. And this is what happens. This is just how it works over and over and over again as it yins and yangs. So for this reason, I've been desperate to get into a long Bitcoin position. The Bitcoin price, in my opinion, has just been coiling like a spring for the last three months here. Uh, uh, well, to be fair, yeah, it's been in this range. Let's do, uh, we'll do a rectangle. Where are my rectangles? Yeah, it's been in this range right here from 65 
down to 47. It's been in that range there for, you know, the basically uh, since the beginning of the year, five months, right? And so if, um, if we turn out, if we bounce off the 21 week moving average, I think we hit rocket north. If you're just an investor, I think now's a phenomenal time to get in Bitcoin. If you're a trader, which means you set stop losses, I think this is phenomenal times 10. This is just an amazing, amazing, amazing time to get into Bitcoin. I see it moving up right now. We're back to 48,000, just went back below 48,000. But this is it. This is a great, great, great time to get into Bitcoin. I'm going to be getting it. Whoa, I'm going to be getting into Bitcoin here. Can I observe that? Yes. I'm going to be getting into Bitcoin here in a, in a large position uh, with a stop loss at something in the 44, 45s. I'll check that out a little bit later. All right, guys, let me know in the comments below. Are you participating in this trade? Have you been accumulating Bitcoin in the last few days? Um, if, I don't know, if, you, if it goes below the 21 week moving average, what is your um, exit strategy? By the way, on the daily uh, and the weekly, uh, we have an eight hours, seven hours and 40 minutes left to go uh, on this candle. This weekly close will be important. If the week closed, weekly candle, closes below the 21 week moving average. It's going to be a very, very bad sign. I think you will see, um, you might see Bitcoin crumble even further going back below the 21 week moving average. If the weekly holds above, the weekly candle closes above the 21 week moving average, that is going to be a very, very, very good sign for Bitcoin and could be the catalyst that's like, okay, we flirted with the 21 week moving average. The week closed back above it now it's time to set sales for green skies. Green skies? Blue skies. That's a thing. Blue skies, not a thing. Green skies, not a thing. Uh, all right, guys. So let me know. If it goes below, what's your exit strategy? How are you managing yourself? Have you, um, are you going to get in on this trade? Do you think now is a good time to buy Bitcoin? Let me know in the comments below. I can't wait to hear it. Um, this is going to be, this, this could be legendary. This could be an absolutely legendary trade. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care.